Hey guys, Sam Stone here. I wanted to talk uh, briefly and give my um, a little review on the uh, Cabela's CGR rods. Uh, this will bo cover both the 2011 model and the 2014-15 model. I'm um, going to try to take this in one cut as I am very tired. I worked last night, but I'm full of coffee and I might go off on a couple tangents here and there, but I, I apologize. So, um, uh, first I want to give a shout out to both Nathan from Southern Appalachian Fly Rod Company, as well as Nathan, or um, excuse me, Cameron from the Fiberglass Manifesto. Both gentlemen are uh, very, very humble uh, in, 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 what, in what they do. They are glass geeks, they are glass gurus, they know their stuff. If you have not checked either Cameron or Nathan on Facebook, uh, you should. Cameron owns the Fiberglass Manifesto, and you can follow him on his blog as well as his uh, Facebook page, The Fiberglass Manifesto. Find Nathan, uh, Nathan Chapman, on Facebook under uh, his page, Southern Appalachian Fly Rod Company, as well as you can uh, join the group, The Fiberglass Fly Rod Fan Page. Um, <clears throat> both, like I said, both gentlemen know their stuff, and I feel that both gentlemen really uh, got me into uh, fishing, fishing strictly with fiberglass, which is awesome. Love, love fiberglass, which is all I own now. Anyway, so I'm um, going, going to, uh, um, going on with this review. Um, I feel Cabela's did a wonderful job of not only getting a mass-produced rod at such a good price with, I feel, very good uh, quality, uh, a very good quality build as well as using very good quality products to, to put this rod together. Um, my first Cabela's CGR was the 2011 model. Um, my only gripe about that model was the case was a bit heavy. I feel like they made up for that in the 2014 model, 2014, 2015 model, because the cases are a lot lighter. Um, <clears throat> now, as far as uh, the build, build uh, like I said, build quality, let's get uh, this. This is the 2011 model in the three weight, my first CGR. Um, I did get the reel seat changed out for a up locking reel, or a down locking reel, excuse me. The two weight, the three weight, the four weight, and the four five weight have a ring reel seat. So there's two rings on either side of the cork reel seat, and they lock for, uh, to lock it, the reels in place. But, um, and by the way, this, this reel seat was done by Nathan. Uh, did, did an excellent job, and I have done uh, all my reel seats from, uh, I've given them to Nathan to do, and he's done an excellent job. So um, anyways, going back to the review. Um, I, like I said, I feel that, um, as, as, you know, starting with the actual handle, the, the cigar handle, as well as the uh, reel seat, I feel that Cabela's did a very good job. and. Um, Obviously, there's a, there's a lot better cork out there, but to me, for 130 bucks, <laughs> you can't, you can't beat this. You really can't. And um, it it looks good, it feels good. Um, it doesn't, you know. Some I, I feel sometimes um, uh, the the cork gives you fatigue, and, and it, it really is because people people grip it too hard when you're really supposed to do. A, really aren't supposed to grip it very hard. But anyways, so um, I really feel like they did a very good job at um, giving it a nice cigar handle. Um, it, it gives it a classic feel, but it, it feels good. Um, now, as far as the, the build, the 2011, um, I feel like they could have done a little bit better with the wraps, um, but I think they really made up for it in the 2014-15 model. Um, the, guide, the, the guide spacing, they did a very good job on. They gave it enough guides to re uh, have no line slap, uh, unlike the other, the vintage glass that was that happened um, quite a bit. But uh, like I said, I, I feel they did a very good job. The the ferrules connect. They have nice uh, the the longer ferrules. Uh, the look nice classic feel of those. Um, so I think, like I said, I think they did a very good job on that. Um, I like I like the blank color because of its you know it has a nice green very aesthetically pleasing. This 2011 is green while I would say 
this. If I can get it. This five. This is a five six. Um, this is the uh, 2014, and it has a, like an, an olive, even like a darker olive color. I, I like both blanks. I think they they look really good together. Um, but like I said, I, I feel that um, both rods, for especially especially for the price, um, is is very good. Um, <clears throat> The, I mean, for $130, and right now as of uh, February 23rd, 2015, they're still on, on sale on the Cabela's website for $80, so now 99 you know, plus shipping and tax, uh, as well as the Prime Rods, uh, which I will, I'll touch, probably touch base, um, uh, or do a video on later, but um, both the Prime Rods, $100, Cabela's CGRs are 80 bucks. but um, like I said, I, I feel they did a very good job. Um, they really, for 130 bucks, they really didn't spare um, anything on the build quality. Like I said, for a mass production rod, these things are sweet. They are very well built. Uh, they feel good. Like I said, they cast beautifully. They are true glass. They are slow action, which is what you want. And if you're looking for a true glass fly rod, that's what you're looking for. Um, I'm not a. I'm not a. a, a um, an expert on glass. Uh, if you uh, talk to Cameron, talk to Nathan about that. If you if you really want to learn more about about the uh, the nitty gritty stuff, like uh, what type of fiberglass you're using for the blanks and such. But um, lastly, I really want to touch on what kind of reel we're using. And <clears throat> um, personally, I, I like to use a Reddington Drift or a Reddington Classic Trout. This is a discontinued reel from Reddington. They have replaced the classic trout with their Reddington Drift reels. Uh, they're very light. They fit very well on the on the rods. They balance it out very well. And uh, speaking of balancing out uh, the rod, uh, the right I would say the right line to use for these rods would be uh, double taper and um, match like a two weight rod with a two weight double taper. Or if you want to go with weight forward, I would step step it up to a three-way line. This is what Nathan uh, suggests and um, that's what I would honestly go with. Uh, like I said, um, overall, they, Cabela's did a very good job. Like I said, very aesthetically pleasing, very well built, especially for the price. I feel they could bump it up to at least twice as much. Um, I, you know, I could bet they could sell these things for $200 and I would still buy them. I mean, Reddington has their butter sticks which are faster than these. And they are mass produced as well, out of state, and they're selling for 250. So, to me, I mean, they, this is a no-brainer. Um, I, I, like I said, they are true glass. They're slow action, um, and if that's what you're looking for, to at least that's what I'm looking for. True glass. This is, um, this is what you should go with. Um, <laughs> there really isn't much else to say. Um, Again, I, like I said, I wanted to, really wanted to uh, thank Nathan and Cameron for getting me into glass. Um, I will leave both of, both of their links in the description where you can find them both on Facebook as well as on the web. Um, feel free to leave any questions, comments, um, rants about my, uh, this terrible video, you know. Um, again, I probably haven't touched on a lot. Uh, I really kind of gave, uh, um, just a very brief overview of how I feel about these rods, um, but I love them. I absolutely love these rods. I cannot say um, enough good things about them. Um, if you would like a custom fiberglass rod with the same slow bank blank, but um, supporting a small independent company, um, check out uh, Nathan Chapman with Southern Appalachian Fly Rods and. Uh, <clears throat> He does exceptional work, like I said, especially like I said, he, he did my real seats and they are they turned out beautifully. Uh, go check them out. Uh, like I said, if you want a, an excellent custom glass fly rod, uh, even, even graphite, he does. But um, again, uh, tight lines, guys, and I wish you all the best. And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the review. And again, please leave any comments, questions, uh, and... 
be sure to check out those guys' Facebook pages and, and uh, blogs. Thanks.